Hello everyone. Welcome back to Galaxy Technologies and I'm Shankar. In this video, we are going to see how to execute some of the important Docker commands on your Docker host. I hope you have followed my previous video how to install Docker on CentOS and also Amazon Linux. For this video, I am using the Amazon Linux EC2 instance where I can install by using the yum install Docker. That's it. I just installed Docker over here. I'm going to see my services. So system CTL status Docker. So currently it is running. So I have set everything to use my Docker. And I have updated my important commands in my Docker. I'm oh, sorry, GitHub repository. You can clone if you need. And uh, to start this with this lab, you must have your Docker Hub account. Okay, hub.docker.com. You can just go and create by providing your email ID. This is one of the repository which, sorry, from this repository, we are going to pull images whenever we need. Uh, images, nothing but initially what will happen, uh, image will be created from the Docker file. Sorry, Docker file is the source from Docker file to image, image to Docker container we can create. So the product owners will create the images and it will uh, they will make available those to uh, the users who are going to use those so we are going to use the official images that is always uh, best practice because you don't use the unofficial images because it may have the malicious attacks so always try to download the uh, official docker images and customize according to your need by using the docker file then convert that docker file into a custom image and create your Docker container from the image. So currently, if I see, I don't have any Docker images in my local host. So Docker image ls, this is the command which will show you how many images are there in your local system. But I don't have any images. I want to pull some images. If you want to pull some images, you can pull it from the official Docker hub.docker.com. From here, you can pull official images right so assume that i want to run https i mean to say uh, tomcat so i can do https over here it will show you the http uh, https services which are having the docker images there are so many public but i want to get the official one let me search with the http i can find http yeah this is the official one i want to pull only this one because uh, i can trust these guys the product owners create this docker container docker images so if i click over here it will show you that there are different different versions 2.4.34 2.4 and the two latest latest nothing but 2.4 it will come and if you want to pull this image you need to run this command docker pull httpd it is going to pull docker image once you have docker image you can create or you can convert that one into a docker container right so i'm going back to my console i'm just going to pull docker pull httpd and uh, colon latest this we call it as a tag nothing but if you don't specify by default it will take latest if you want to specify some version assume that there are multiple versions for httpd itself right so 2.4.3.4, 2.4, 2.4.2, and uh, Alpen, and uh, some of the old versions it might be have. So you want to run, sorry, you want to take old versions, you need to specify the version, assume that 2.2 if you need, you can specify over here. But we are not going to make it complicated. Let's execute Docker pull HTTPD. It will pull with the latest. You can just see tag taken as a latest, and it pull the latest image is from the hub.docker.com and stores in your local system fine now if i see my images earlier i don't have any image i mean to say docker image currently i have one image and uh, it has updated two weeks ago not from my side from the official vendor side two weeks ago they have updated this docker image right and the size of this docker image is 178 nothing but if you install this application, it will come with the 178 uh, MB space. Fine, I'm going back to again our Docker commands. So this is the Docker search HTTPD first command, nothing but I just searched HTTP over here, right? Similar way you can search from the local system. 
So by default, it connects to the hub.docker.com and uh, it search for the HTTPD wherever uh, whatever images are there and it gives over here. This is the one which we have pulled and there are a few other which are updated by some other guys. So if you see in the I'm coming back and if you see here whatever names you could see same names you can find over here because this is the command line where uh, you can sorry this is the command line where you can search your images if i go to next command i just pulled it yep so next command is docker image pull or docker pull you can do and the image name and version name or tag next thing is a docker image ls just we have seen how many images are there in your local system once you have image you can able to con uh, create a container out of a image image nothing but it's like a os cd you can create any you can install on any number of systems once you have image right similar way you can create any number of containers once you have image so to create a container we are we use docker run command so docker run d stands for detach mode and uh, minus minus name what is the name you want to give for this container so container name and the image name image name is httpd that is what we have pulled and does it have any version so if it has any version it will you can specify the version or else it will take default as a latest again so let's run a, a docker container in the detach mode detach mode nothing but it won't give you the login prompt nothing but once you have created a container by default you cannot enter into a, your container so the command would be docker run minus d minus minus name uh, for this i'm going to give the httpd right so app container app container and uh, image name is httpd this is the image name you can see here and the tag is latest if you don't specify also it will take as a latest no worries that is cool latest and i'm just uh, running it before running it we'll see the our docker containers how many docker containers are there i'm skipping this command not executed Control c i have done so let's see docker ps minus a it will show you the list of the docker containers which are in uh, which are in different states might be it may be running terminated or uh, stopped any kind okay so there there are no images i'm going to run this command again doc sorry i'm going to run the docker run command now docker run minus d minus minus name uh, app container app container and the name is httpd and latest fine so now what it will do it will create a docker container and this is the docker container which uh, created and then let's run the docker ps minus a now you can see a docker container has been created and this is the container id it will take first a few characters and httpd and from this image it has been created and in the background it is going to run and it is created 10 seconds before and up and port is opened port number 80 is opened the name we have given is app container and uh, you have your one more command docker ps just without any flags if you run this one it will show you only running docker containers okay it is showing only running docker containers it will show you all containers that is the difference between the minus a flag and without a flag next thing is expose your application to the host server so what does it mean that now you are running a container and container level you have opened port number 80 container level you have opened port number 80 and if you try to access this container from outside it won't work i mean to say it will be it is exposed within the container but uh, outside if you want to uh, access that application you need to expose for the outside environment also you need to expose for outside environment also for that what i'm going to do is again i'm going to create one more docker container 
so already one container we have created with the app container so i'm going to give app container to and uh, to expose we are going to use a option called p p nothing but port so you need to specify the this command docker run minus d minus p nothing but port host port nothing but on host level on which port you are going to expose next container port application on which port it has been ex uh, exposed so the com command will something uh, sorry next name and uh, as usual so the command will come something like this right so before doing this one let me try to access the application uh, now so wget wget is a command which you are going to try to access this application excuse me so which you are going to access this application so wget <clears throat> wget and the ip address of your host system ip address of your host system and colon on which port you want to expose so currently it is not exposed outside but still i am trying to access you don't get anything okay so now what i will do i will expose my uh, system so sorry expose my application minus p 8080 this is container port this is sorry this is host port this is container port don't get confused so let me see one more time so host port and container port so host port is uh, 8080 nothing but on host level i need to access something like 8080 for uh, next time and uh, minus minus name app server i will give app server and uh, httpd colon latest that's it now it is going to create one more container so docker ps now two containers are running one container is running on port number 80 but it is uh, what i can say three minutes ago and i have created one more container and i exposed the port number 8080 let me run this command again 8080 this time i should able to get some response nothing but you can able to access it from the browser let's try to access it from the browser because it exposed to outside wall you will get it works a default uh, page you got it right so that is how you can execute the docker run command uh, with by uh, exp exposing the port next is docker ps we just seen under docker ps minus here also it is going to show you all docker containers uh, irrespective of the status next one will, would uh, is docker run it i nothing but interactive mode and terminal so what does it happen is if you create a docker container by default you have not entered into any docker container it is just showing that i have created a container now you want to create a container and you need to log into container nothing but you want to jump into inside a container then you can run this command docker run minus it interactive under terminal mode and uh, whatever image this time we are going to pull new image that is sent OS. so now Whenever I execute this command, what will happen? First, it will go and search for the sent OS image in our local system. But there is no sent OS image, right? So Docker image ls, if you see, there is no sent OS. So immediately it will connect to the Docker hub. So we have a Docker hub, right? Sorry. So Docker hub, it it connects to the docker hub here it will search for this it will look for the sent os latest let me see the so sent os official image so it will pull the sent os with the latest nothing but seven okay latest sent os seven it is going to pull and create it so let's execute this one and we'll see so no worries if you don't have images in your local system still it will connect to the hub.docker.com and pull the image see here it is saying unable to find image locally and it is pulling the image from the official docker uh, uh, registry and uh, it created a container now let me see the images 
docker image ls sorry oops sorry i logged into the system also right because we have given the interactive mode earlier you were outside so what happened earlier you were in the system now you have logged into container you have logged into container now you want to run any commands you can run but uh, ls nothing but these are the docker container uh, inside the docker container ls command and you can do whatever you want so it is a sent OS operating system only we have pulled i'm just exiting and uh, if i see docker image ls now you can see one more sent OS because it didn't find the sent OS whenever you executed it pulled from the docker hub and uh, stored in the local and also docker ps you could see that okay i have exited right so it has been exited docker ps minus a so you have created a sent OS and exited so 26 seconds ago it came uh, it got terminated so this is the problem if you launch a system with the this command whenever you execute exit it is going to uh, exit from your docker container it will get stopped so this is not a uh, best practice so usually we will run with this kind of commands in the real time next one would be the stop a container this is the command to stop docker stop this is a quite common docker stop i want to stop this container either you can give the container id or else you can give the container name assume that i want to stop app container now docker container has been stopped you can see here docker ps minus a now it has been exited and uh, if you want to start it again you can run the docker start and either you can give the container name or else container id also sufficient so docker status sorry docker ps minus a again this time again it is up fine next uh, if you don't want to use a container now you want to remove so currently there is a container in the exit mode nothing but it is in stopped state now you don't want to use this container so you can delete it docker remove container id sorry docker rm right yep docker rm container id if you specify it is going to remove your docker container docker ps minus a sorry Now you have only two containers, both are up and running. And uh, next one is you want to log into a Docker container now. Now two containers are running. Now you want to log in one of the container. Okay, this time what, what I can do is I can run the Docker. Now the, this time I'm not going to create a container. A container is already created and up and running. I just want to log in. Then you can use the Docker exec yeah exec and interactive mode and the terminal you need and uh, next one would be the container name i want to log into the container and uh, bin bash nothing but what is the command you want to execute to log in so now you can see here you have jumped into the from host system to your container and uh, you are under usr local apache 2 okay and you can see the http also find command is there yeah find slash minus name http sorry index dot html this is the default page right so it is there in the different different locations usually it will take it from here so these are the some of the important docker commands which we are going to use for the project purpose hope this video helps you and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.